Asian women while they walk door to door. Y'all are tough guys. Y'all are real tough. You have a blessed day, sir. This confrontation over the weekend was between supporters for Travis County DA Jose Garza and a pro law enforcement motorcycle club called WTFers, Wind Therapy Freedom Riders. He's not going to be one of our friends. <laughs> if there was any doubt of that, DA Garza had this to say during a Monday news conference. We will not be intimidated and we will not be silenced. Images released to the media by Garza's campaign don't show any physical altercations, but campaign volunteers said the armed WTFers made them feel uneasy. It's obviously intimidation, and it obviously points to the high stakes that we have and what we're fighting for. And I'm not going to be intimidated. Club President Luis Rodriguez admits his group followed Garza supporters on block walks, but he said encounters like this one with residents were friendly. Rodriguez also disputed Garza's accusation of voter intimidation. If they were scared or intimidated. It wasn't anything that we did. You know, them being intimidating uh, or intimidated is not on us. That's on them. Rodriguez says the club is not working for Garza's Democrat challenger, Jeremy Silestine. They're campaigning against Garza because of his policies and may show up for future block walks. Possibly if he makes it past the uh, primary. Garza called the WTFers thugs and said several elected Democrats, for him, sent Celestine a letter about this kind of involvement. In that letter, they specifically warned him that parroting these, these um, lies, these MAGA talking points, would embolden fringe elements um, to put our safety at risk. For him to try to put that off as some sort of right-wing concern is just not true because we know from the campaign and from talking to people that there are many different kinds of people who are invested in my campaign. Celestine took a break from his own block walk to address Garza's accusations. What I am talking about crosses party lines and it's about safety and crime and law and order and that's that's resonating with people and I'm afraid he doesn't like that. This group held a news conference Monday to talk about that concern. They are family members of crime victims and say Garza's vision of justice became a nightmare for them. He acted like more of a defense attorney for my abuser than the DA advocating for me. He was advocating more for my abuser. 